Wood boring insects like emerald ash borer have been a hot topic of discussion in the lawn and landscape industry as of late. With the death of millions of ash trees since first being found in 2002, there is now more than ever an increased emphasis on finding insecticide treatments that can help stop and prevent further damage from wood boring insects like EAB. EAB is a bright green metallic insect that feeds on all ash species but prefers to feed on green and black ash. The adults seek out healthy trees where they lay their eggs and then once those eggs hatch the larvae go inside of the tree where they feed on the phloem which is the nutrient pathways inside of the tree. The good news is there are several different insecticides and application techniques that can be used to prevent damage from wood boring insects like emerald ash borer. The primary three methods used are the soil drench, tree injection, or also the basal bark band application. The application method that we're going to focus on today is the basal trunk spray, which literally means spraying the insecticide on the base of the tree. The primary benefits of this application method are the speed of the uptake of the insecticide and also the ease of the application with only needing the sprayer, an insecticide, and an organosilicon surfactant. Dinotefuran is a systemic insecticide which is marketed as Xylam or Safari. When applied to the base of the tree, it is absorbed into the vascular system and then translocated up through the tree. Once an insect comes into contact with it or ingests it, they die shortly after. To begin, you want to read the complete label to make sure you have all the proper personal protective equipment. The product application rate for Xylam is 16 fluid ounces per one gallon of water. For Xylam and insecticide, it is also recommended that you add one fluid ounce of an organosilicon surfactant like Petrobark, which greatly increases the absorption into the tree. After you added together your organosilicon surfactant and your xylam, you want to make sure and mix them well together before adding them to your sprayer. Next, you want to pump up your sprayer to a pressure of around 10 to 20 psi. You want to make sure that the pressure is low enough to prevent any type of runoff, drift, or back spray from occurring while you're making the application. Once you have your spray solution ready, now you're ready to begin your application. Start at about 5 feet or chest height, moving slowly side to side as you work your way down the tree. Again, you want to make sure that your pressure is low enough that all the solution is sticking to the side of the tree. Keep working your way down towards the base of the tree, and once you reach it, you want to continue working your way down the root flares with the solution as well. If you need more help finding an insecticide for your needs, feel free to stop by your local Ewing branch, or for more information, visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.